Hey, I'm Kerwin Frost, and on this episode of Kerwin Frost Talks, we're speaking to the most interesting man in the world. Today we're in Columbus, Ohio, with ASAP Rocky. So Rocky, what happened to um? Why the lights out in here, man? Cause you lost. I ain't paid a bill, man. Can you help me out with that? You need some money? Yeah, man. How much? Like probably like thirty five dollars. I got you. So um, so right now you're wearing um. Got on the Rickies. <laughs> Ricky's on a hippie. You oh, dig? I, I wasn't talking about the Rick Owens. Oh, I thought you were talking about because you got the Ricky, so I thought you were talking about the Oh, Rickies. yeah, yeah, we twin, twin, Twinnies. twin now. Um, these Under Armour shoes right here. These are SR lows. These are skate rave lows. You got on the skate rave lows. Um, I actually had a pair of these. You sold them, didn't you? No, no, I didn't sell them. I actually wore them. I wore them out. Someone stole them. No, I really, I wore them until I couldn't wear them no more. I actually really like this shoe. I got another pair for you. Yeah? Yeah, they, they get fucked up easily. But they're really comfortable. Yeah, but I was fucked up on the tongue. I you, made it too slippery. You know what my favorite part of this shoe was? Which one? If you, um, oh, right here? The bottom. The Brandon, yeah. Brandon that was, was, that was genius. Logo. That was, that was yeah. kind of, we tried to, I tried to do something that was like 90s. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like some nostalgic shit that you don't see no more. You know, like the motherfuckers in the 90s used to like sneak in manufacturers. Sometimes you used to put secret compartments. Zippers. Yeah. Straps and shit all over it. And yep. Like buttons and shit. What was the what was the Ewans? Mm, maybe not. The Robins. Mm. Something else I noticed. Um, the shoe came with tape, and it said like sample. All right, what yeah. was the inspiration behind that? Because when I was still constructing it, like you know, this is all, this is all was inspired by the Osiris. So okay. you know, I reached out to David Mayhew, mm -hmm. and uh, while we were reconstructing the sneaker, I couldn't decide if I wanted to like. So you wait, you saw out. the Osiris shoe, and you was like, I want to recreate this. This like didn't really get I, the proper. I loved the, I loved the Osiris shoe, so yeah. I wanted to make something that was like a derivative of it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I went to the original designer and skater for the shoe, Dave okay. Mayhew. The, the Osiris D3. Osiris yeah. makes different shoes, but the D3, yeah. that style is what this was based off of. Mm. And, um, I basically reached out to him, and he des he helped me design a new a new sneaker. I felt that's a, like... If you're gonna if you're gonna go to Nike, in my opinion, and design a pair of threes, like yeah, why not do it with Jordan and Tinker? Yeah, cause you probably can't. I mean, that's why I didn't, you know, design any threes. That's yeah, true. But, but I was um, because <laughs> it was it was also crazy though, cause when these came out, a big thing was like, oh, it's a copy of the shoe. Oh, it's like people didn't understand. Mm -hmm. It's a reference, and mm -hmm. you're actually working with the guy. Yeah. I mean, you know, nowadays people just use the appropriation. Yeah. You know, yeah. Without, without any homage or mm. just recognition. So when I come correct, people, you know, yeah. this era is just expecting me to be on some taking shit. Taking you know shit. What I'm saying? And it's really like, no, nah, nigga, we, this is the nigga, yeah. this is his thing, and I made a cool thing, you know? That's true. It's That's like true. if Fabulous comes out with a Jeff Hamilton, it's just yeah. like, when I seen Fabulous with a Jeff Hamilton, it makes sense. It's, it's, what did he do to Jeff Hamilton? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it taking any thing away from nigga Jeff Hamilton? Right, right. I just do what I want. Fuck with these niggas so long. As you should. Yeah, man. As you should. Yo, how I look on Cam, B? You, you look good. Yo, fuck you, nigga. I'm asking the ladies how I look right now, man. You look good, Rocky. <laughs> um. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me about um, tell me about when you first met Yams. Yeah. All right. So, motherfuckers don't know this story. Yeah. When I first joined ASAP, I did, I probably joined around like '06. Yeah. Going into '07, I met. So in '06, it was already like, how did it happen? Like who? Uh, who yeah. made the connection to you? All right. Cool. So I think ASAP started with. Yams, yeah. This 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 kid named Haiti, mm -hmm. Bari, Ills, yeah. This girl that we had, Lee Lee Lills, with us, yeah. Juice, mm -hmm. and KD. Okay. 
Kadeem, and everybody was, you know, I'm miss, I'm probably missing like one or two names, right. but this, those are the original. The OGs. ASAP niggas. And right. When I joined, I joined because me and ASAP really was in high school together. Uh, okay. And I met him in school, and, and our school was weird. We ain't fuck with a lot of people in school. I, right. I was the only nigga that was just really on some getting fly shit, trying right. to fuck with the hoes. Right. And when I seen him, he was on the same time, but he was getting drug money type shit. Yeah. At this time, man, I was selling my little bit of weed, and my girlfriends was taking care of me and shit. Yeah. This nigga, he had come, yeah, he had come through. He had have on some John Rich or, or maybe some Louis or some. Uh, um, Gucci and Rally Supreme, always had it. Lombard, all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? We was on Rick and Raph in high school. Wow. Yeah, we was on Rick and Raph. How'd you find out about Rick Lombard. and Raph in high school? Just because it's like if it's like once you get into an industry or something, yeah. you you I did, you discover more and more new but shit. But Raph, nobody was like nobody knew about Raph around I, that time. I think what made us peculiar was that the stuff we liked in general, some mm. less filled shit. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, to begin right. with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was wearing Mark Jacobs, yeah. Do Dolce and Gabbana. Right, those are the shit. classics. Yeah, but that's that's mainstream mm -hmm, shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So when, when we come to the block, Lombard, Margiela, yeah. all these people, they like, what the fuck, the fuck is fuck is you wearing? Yeah, Ac Acne. They ain't know mm. what acne was. You know what I'm saying? Subi. You, damn. They ain't know what Subi was. No. Bro, if I could roll my... Mm -hmm. Fucking... Nigga, this is real talk. See this tat right here? Yeah. The Subi tat? Mm -hmm. I had that at 18. Y'all niggas is just now, like, these niggas is acting like, you know, we just discovered it or... Yeah. We was with Subi before they went through four different companies. Right, we been right. fucking with them. Shout out to my brother Paulie. Paulie, y'all know, know, yeah, y'all know Paulie. Hi mom, I'm not. Hi mom, I'm dead. Yeah, okay. And like he was designing at Subi. The first time I went to Subi it was in Australia, 2012, and they already knew I was a fan of the company. Mm. By the time I met all of them, they was moving out. You know what I'm saying? I think they was just selling the company to like one of these like hedge fund or like one of these um, capitalists or some shit like that, yeah. right? And um, once one one of these venture capitalists sold it to another company, then to another company, and yeah. now here you have it, and where, where it's at now. And you know, beyond heritage, like for us, it was just all about aesthetic. People don't know. You can ask ASAP Barry this kind of shit. Like people don't know that. Like uh, you know, Hedy Slimane was chilling with the yeah. Subi guys, Danny and them, and that's when he came up with the skinny silhouette, skinny jeans mm. for Dior. Back in 04, 03, and brought him to Dior in 05. And now Hedy Slimane is known for bringing skinny jeans back to men's high in fashion, like in yeah. 2005 and shit. You know what I'm saying? And he got that silhouette from Subi, from wow. all of them over there. So we we fuck with these brands because we grew up on them, because they changed our lives, not just because they had a cool fashion, creative cool, director right, right. and they make cool designs. Or they had a moment. They had a, it's a real cultural, you know, time in our lives that yeah. that these have these brands have a purpose for. Well, 06 is a crazy time. 06 is a crazy because you had bait popping off, yeah. you had BBC popping yeah. off, you had uh, uh, Alessandro Delacqua's, yeah, you had nudie. Jeans. How were you getting these pieces? My girlfriends, oh, I was grinding for, I was hustling. She was getting the pieces. They was getting the pieces for me. Yes. When I talked to um. I talked to uh, Bloody Osiris, and he in the beginning he was just pulling pieces. He How was he pulling. pulling pieces? He was just cool with Grail, and Grail to let him pull something. You gotta and realize like, in two thousand, you know, like a like a white kid, just like yeah, oh five, swipe, swipe, swipey. Oh five, it wasn't they no, no grill. Swipe, swipe, swipe. It wasn't no grill. Yeah, you know what so saying? that's what I'm saying. How oh, fuck? Even me, like sometimes when I was a kid, I would go to H and M, and or, or or the guy American American Apparel. I wouldn't go to America. I never wore American apparel. That bro, was never when me. we was broke, bro, you want a regular white tee? Or what about when niggas with skinny jeans and you get some black ones, bro? Yeah, they always had the thin shirts. You got to think of me, big kid. Bro, what am I doing with skinny not, shirts? Nah, that's true. But when you 17, 16 and all that, bro, you don't give a fuck about that. You, all you know is, is a cookout coming up. Mm. You only got about like $80 to your name. If that, niggas. <laughs> well, with me, I used to cut the alarm out the jeans. Uh. So, you know, I had the mouse pants. Look like a mouse ate out of them. Yo, you know what we'll do? Mm -hmm. We'll just take the alarm home, yeah. put it on the counter, mm -hmm. get a hammer, bang, bang yeah, that what shit. What happens when it rings? You just jet? Nah, it's because mo most of the time them shits wasn't ringing. Mm. So, so was most of the time they, they wouldn't ring. Oh, I, was, I was too pussy for that. See, look. I, I was like, I'm going to cut look, that look, shit off. Look, I don't know if I they go, still... Look, I go I there with a pair of scissors. But this is... Oh, you was a wild boy. Let me try look, this on real quick. Look, look. I don't know if this is how how it is now, but mm -hmm. sax on, sax on uh, Madison. Yeah. 
before. Damn, I'm probably giving up. The, I'm probably dry sleeping right now. It's probably niggas still getting it how they live. I'm about to make it hot right now. But the reason, because I don't want to seem like I'm lying about the metal detector shit, yeah. but if everybody, anybody know that if you go through sex, you walk through the lo the, first, the lobby, you see all the bitches in black doing makeup and uh -huh. shit like that, and, you know, on the kiosk and shit, yeah. and then you keep walking to the elevators and whatnot. Right. Go up. But right when you get to those elevators, mm -hmm. There's a Louis Vuitton store. Do they still got that there? I ain't been there. All right, well. I'm Not gonna, in a minute. I ain't yeah, been there in a long time. At, I don't shop at those kind of stores. Exactly. We just talked about that. Yeah. Years. But, you know, anyways, mm -hmm. you go there. Louis Vuitton? By the Louis Vuitton, there's another door. Okay. So the elevator's here. There's the door. There's Louis Vuitton. Here's yeah. the main door. Uh -huh. Niggas get off the elevator, go straight through the, through the door. See, the employees right. and stuff. You know what, what happens when you go through the door? There's no metal detectors at oh. this door. There's metal detectors through the first door. Damn. You just go through the side door. That side door is more of an employee entrance. That's crazy. Yeah, but we used to just go, we'd be right outside, just walk mink, out. Mink. Walk out. I wasn't really the boosting type because I yeah. was too scary. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I was I, scared I, too. Yeah, I, I stole a pair of products because my friend stole me a pair oh, of products. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, product. You always had that friend, right? Yeah, shout out to my nigga Real Money, man. <laughs> shout out to my brother Real Money, man. He stole me a pair of products. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Or rip. Just for no reason, because that was my nigga. He loved me. That's my brother, bro. Nigga, like, yo, I got me a pair. Nigga came through with the white on white pattern of a products for me. Wow. Nigga was mad young. He mm -hmm. was dumb scared because he wasn't a boosting nigga. Yeah, no. But the first, the reason why I had to steal it, yeah. go back, is because this nigga gave me two left shoes. Wow. <laughs> So he, so he came to my house. One shoe, what happened? He so came, came to my house a... with two left shoes. Uh huh. One size, one one size is like a nine and a half. The other <laughs> size is like eight and a half. But the same, the same size, the same shoe. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> so this stupid nigga, we go back down there. Mind you, I this is like my this is my first. First and last time I'm ever boosting. Like I done stole shit before Pokemon right. cards and last time random shit. As a kid, but like I never was really in a boosting. Boosting was for the bitches, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Long story short, I don't know go, about that. Now boosting was for females. Yeah, so true. pardon me with the bit. I'm calling women's bitches. Boosting for everybody. Boosting is for what, boosting for, for everybody. For females. For everybody. Nah. You had to do it, nigga. That was one time. One oh, time. Oh, one only. time. Nah, That's not man. what Barry said. Barry lying like a bitch, dude. <laughs> Barry, me and Barry, I can honestly say I never boosted anything with my ASAP. Dude. Barry told me the reason y'all started working with Black Scale was because you went in there and you tried to boost and they caught you and then they put you to the back and they was like, yo, why are you stealing? And then you was like, yo, actually, I'm selling this shit called ASAP and I could push y'all down with this. You so lying. You give me, me these right clothes now. for free. You gassing this? And I'm going to put y'all on. Oh, all right. You just made that up. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I almost believe your brother. Like that nigga said that. But that do sound like a fire story. Yeah, though. that's a fire but story. But the black skill shit happened similar to that. Mm, really? What happened? Right, so one time I'm downtown or whatever chilling. We always used to hang at this store called Prohibit. Mm -hmm. If oh, not, God, I don't remember Chase Infinite store. Mm -hmm. So if we wasn't there at Chase store, he's at A Life or he's at Black Skill. But right. before really being at Black Skill like that. I'm always, I, I always see the hieroglyphics and we was on that, you know what yeah. I'm saying? what and you I mean like, by that? What's a hieroglyphic? Hieroglyphics is like, all right, when, you know how like, when you when you spell A-S-A-P and mm -hmm. you take the A and turn it upside yeah. down for a V, like yeah. V loan is an A, okay. really, yes. but it's a, it's, it's like some anarchy yeah. kind of like, you know. Right, put it together. So, so it's hieroglyphics, that was our way of like coded, it's mm -hmm. like rap was like a coded language. Okay. That's our coded language, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So. When we was doing that as youngsters, that was just our thing. Just right. it, was, it just looked cool when you tag your shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying we all drinking 40s, sharing 40s, yeah. smoking blunts. Niggas yeah, ain't man. really have nothing else better to no. do and shit. So we used to just go to these stores, chill, rap back there, yeah. try to get put on somebody. I, I was other shit, try to get some free clothes. Yeah, or whatnot. yeah, a little sponsor, whatnot. So, yeah, Fuck <laughs> but it. but nah, niggas really just trying to get some free clothes and chill, yeah. smoke some weed with the big yeah. homies and all that, right? All right, right. And black skin and, and, and prohibit most death might pull up. Dave Chappelle mm, might pull up, yeah, Mac so Miller, anybody. anybody. Yeah. I remember one time I was in Prohibit chilling, Kendrick Lamar and Danny Brown just came wow. downstairs. And I ended up directing a video for Danny Brown that night. And we all was just that's we all was just be chilling down there. Yeah. And it's a picture of us just all chilling, but that was every day. And that's when we yeah. all first got our deals. Mm -hmm. Kendrick was already on, but like me and Danny was, we all was just about to 
And I think me and Kendrick was about to go on tour together. Yeah. And like we all was just chilling in the basement and shit like that. And it, Black scale? That was prohibit. So Black Scale was on some shit where it was like we we were wearing their clothes and they sold Black Scale at Prohibit. Mm, so okay. we used to buy their clothes from there and shit whatnot. And I used to just get my Black Scale from my boy ASAP Josh or whoever. Yeah. And so long story short, fucking the dude from Black Scale um, rent. Um, I was at the I came to the store, and his name was Al. He was just cool as fuck, and he was just like, yeah, I, I run the store, but my boy really run the brand. His name Mega. And um, I was asking, I'm like, yeah, but why y'all, why y'all in the search store? You, yeah. you know, you do, calm the fuck down. Shit. Right, right, calm, I remember that. Calm oh, the fuck man. down. Remember those? Things? Iconic. Yeah. So that all was at that store is what Black Scale was in. Okay. Black Scale didn't have their own store. They was mm. in the calm the fuck down search yeah. store. Yeah. So when I went there, I was like, yo, bro, listen, I'm the I'm the illest nigga, bro. Yeah. People don't know, but I'm the future. Wow. When I'm telling them, he not. I don't think he was in disbelief, but he was like, oh, all right, cool. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, whatever. I'm like, yo, fuck with me. I'm about to have a whole world win and shit, the whole downtown. I said, me yeah. and my crew wear this shit all the time. Yo, I told him that. He was like, cool, cool, I got you. I'm like, yo, bro, bless me, yo. We're going to shoot a video. I just need yeah. you to come through. Like, I right, bet. Wow. Bro, come to the store again. They just start blessing me with clothes. I brought yeah. the crew. They blessed everybody. We went wow. uptown. Shot the fucking peso video. All right, hold on. But they what, blessed the whole crew. When you was talking about the hydroglyphics, was you talking about because Black Tail had the upside down A? They had A. They used to have triangle A's yes, and upside down that. A's and that. shit like that. You know so, what I'm saying? And that's, and that's around, that's what attracted Perk to us. Yeah. Space Coast Perk, because basically Yams told me about this nigga online. Like, yo, yeah. it was some nigga, it was a nigga named Mr. Motherfucking Esquire. I remember um, him. A nigga named Frankenstein. He had yeah. some shit called Rapping Ass. It was, um, Lil B, Crayshawn, yeah. Space Ghost Perp, yeah. and ASAP Rocky was just like, at that one moment, it was right, just right. like what I was a whole internet. underground underground, underground internet, internet shit was talking about. Yep. And, and main attractions a little bit. You know what yeah, I mean? It was yeah. like some Oakland, West Coast shit, but like, yeah. you know what I mean? A couple casualties. I know I'm probably not naming a lot of niggas that was like, you know, lit on yeah. the underground scene right back then, but these is all people I didn't know. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? And I was just doing my thing. And um, by the time Peso came out, Perps like saw it and was just like, yo, y'all niggas do hieroglyphics, all this yeah. other shit. I'm like, yo, bro, you know you gotta fuck with us after after talking on the phone and talking on like Skype after a while. The nigga finally decided to come live with us. So yeah. we picked him up from the fucking bus station and shit like wow. that. This nigga had on some colorful Miami dolphin looking wow. shit on. We got his swag right, you know what I mean? Threw the bandanas on him, threw black on the nigga. Took him to a few stores to get free clothes because we ain't have bread to take right, right, to shopping. Nah, nah. So, but y'all knew the spot. Yeah, so yeah. Like, so we took, you right. Yeah, we took him to Mishka. Mm -hmm. We took him to we took him to Mishka. We took him to Black Scale. Yeah. We took him to Sir. You know, prohibit all that other shit. So, nigga, his clothes is right and shit. Yeah. Him and uh, Tabis was living with me at the time. Right. Ace at Tabis. He produced Purple Swag and all that other shit and, and pesos. Mm -hmm. So me and Top Beast is in this one room living together. Then Perk lived with us. Now it's three right. niggas in the one Damn. like bedroom thing. Right, right. Living with my mom's. Yeah, wow. So she so give mom us. Dukes is there. Yeah, yeah. She give us, but she 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 wasn't in our fit. Like yeah, she gave yeah. us our own time. I had one sister, so had living with me at the time. So it wasn't like nobody in our way or whatever. But yeah. we'd come and go and shit. My little sister was living with us. But uh, you know, she give us like she give me twenty dollars. I mean sixty dollars. I give them. 2020, you feel right, me? Right, just because right. that's just how he was, and, and and everybody adopted this love for everybody on some, you know, on some on some real like brotherly shit. Yeah. And I think once shit like I was already blowing up, but yeah. once I, phew, I think that was around the time when like the the perp nigga started talking crazy. He went back home and just switched up for no reason on some like right. on some for no reason shit, you know. And I and I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro, like. When he left, yeah. niggas, everybody from what we know, we was all on great terms. I'm talking about right, right. this nigga would out of nowhere just start crying for some, sometimes, and he was sad. And the truth is, I think he was homesick. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I think he was with a bunch of niggas, and he wanted to, you know, he seen what was going on, and you know, next thing I know, drama started. He started telling niggas I only tried to give him fifty thousand dollars and sign him, and I yeah. gave everybody an ASAP five hundred thousand yeah. dollars to sign. Him. I'm like, nigga, I'm not no major label. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, give everybody yeah. five hundred thousand no, dollars. Like, you only had a, th a three million dollar deal. Deal, like, you know what I'm saying? And, so, and half of that this, was to start ASAP. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, do yeah. the math. You feel not me? Not enough saying? members that's, for everyone that's, to get that's that. Not, it's not. It's a little check for everybody to get started yeah, yeah. up. Yeah. And what you do from that is on you. You exactly. get what I'm saying? But Which was sad niggas, because at the time, it's like... It was a dynasty. It happens with every... Everybody. Every, every, no, everybody. Oh, every magic duo. Mm. You know what I mean? Yo, bro, I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. Yeah. Space Ghost Perp and Top Beats taught me how to produce in 2011. They taught me how wow. to make beats, my nigga. Wow. That's the first niggas who taught me how to make beats. Damn. This is this is facts. I'll, I'll admit this on camera, bro. But wow. but the thing is, he came and told niggas. He taught me how to rap. He taught me how to dress. He taught me Damn. how to swag. And it's like, bro, I didn't right, meet right. you till I was no, lit, nigga. No, Pesos. I met you after that video came Damn. out physically. You know what I'm saying? You lived with us for six months, bro. Like, don't make it seem like you know what I'm saying. Like some shit is not, you know. That's so. That's my thing. Is just like. I can never talk about this because I'm blowing up, and if I talk about it, I'm make this put more light on this. Right, right, right. Obviously, you know, Tom prevails. If if he made me make another you, make another me. Yeah, yeah. None of his niggas fuck with him in the crew because they realized that he was manipulating them and you know what I'm saying doing all this other shit. Like mad niggas just be like, yo, when I was a kid, I hated you because I was the code. We had yeah. to hate niggas. Like, like that was the way to get in. It's like, bruh. I grew up, and you know the truth is, niggas, niggas really love niggas. Niggas ain't yeah. want to have to choose between mom and dad and shit. No, no, absolutely well, not. I make niggas choose. That's why I don't be on that. Like, like what you like. It's not that yeah. deep, nigga. Like, <laughs> sucks. It, it sucks how that turned out. Cause the way you guys came in, it was just so powerful. It was a dope time in underground hip hop, and he he could have made something of himself, but I think he just was too caught up in uh too caught up in the, the foolishness of shit, man. My man rather be at home talking to himself on cameras and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's really it. <laughs> Going back to the peso video, <laughs> <laughs> that was an iconic video. Yeah. Tell me about that. Because y'all really ran through Harlem. It was just iconic. Walking out the store. All them shots. Barry standing on a stand. With Nas giving the finger. All that. That, that, was, that energy was crazy. That was dumb. Mm. That was dumb. Um, yo, bro. That was, just a, that was just a time when we just was like out every day smoking smoking weed and drinking 40s and trying to try make some music. Yeah. It's still like that. We just not really smoking weed and drinking 40s. We yeah. Yeah, everybody drinking 40s. Yeah. But You'll never catch that again, good. ever. Those ain't good for you. Everybody was drinking them. Yeah, because they was cheap. They was available. I mean, if you... Like, but nobody knew they really existed, until, like, not since probably the 90s. The 90s, right? Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, we was, we was doing it because it was cheap. That was it. Nigga, you want to get fucked up? Niggas had four <laughs> locos. That shit wasn't good for you all the time. Yeah, no, like, no. Fuck it. Niggas was sipping on the 40s. Like, nigga, you, you buy a whole 40 ounce, couple dollars. Yeah. Nigga, you be bent. Nigga, for the club. Mm. What? You go to the club fucked up. Niggas, drinking on the train. Niggas drinking on the train, drinking on the <laughs> bench outside the club. Nigga, like, we, nigga, I never used to go in clubs you had to pay for. We went to free yeah. lounges in Soho. You right. had to know somebody at the door to get in. Right. We go to them shits, be in the mosh pit, going crazy. That's all. The life, the lifestyle back then was just all about this. You woke up, somehow you just got to figure out a way to get some money in your pocket and go to a motherfucking party. Take all your stress out in that mosh pit, bro. Yeah. Niggas, usually I get punched in the mosh pit, all I get decked, and you just feel good just based off the fact you got out angry. Do you remember where you saw it first? Like, where was the first, first you know what I mean? First time I ever saw a mosh pit was like, I, I probably was like five, six years old, and it was on. You was at a uh, Future concert? <laughs> <laughs> it was like MTV was just like the thing back right, then, right. you know what I'm saying? And I don't know what I don't know what band it was, but it was just people mosh pitting and First time I saw black people do it was Onyx, and okay. I saw that a Wu Tang show too. Love Onyx. Yeah, Onyx. I seen them in their videos doing it. Yeah. So from from then on, I always knew I wanted like hardcore shit. So I was I was really in the DMX type shit. You okay. Know what I'm saying? At, at that point. Yeah. He, even though he wasn't really moshing, but his yeah. music would just that make was it. go crazy. Of course. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It was bugging and shit. How you get me. the crew to get on moshing though? They was on that. So they were already that's, with. Everybody was on. The, bro, that's how you don't get niggas to get on that. You got to yeah, be yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? You, you be on the same time. Oh, Your of friends, y'all don't talk about Masha yeah, before no, no, you do no, it. No, 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 no. Definitely you not. You go in and do it. That's like talking about fighting. Like, you can't yeah. premeditate a Masha pit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, 
You just you do it. You get out anger. That's corny when you stay like, yeah, nigga. You when you in a mosh pit, you don't look cool. It's not look. It's not not meant to look cool. It's not nah. to have fun. And I actually yeah. remember when I was in high school, I went to um. I forgot who it was. I think it was. It was like Tyler performing at like a Fool's Go Day Off or something, and um, maybe it wasn't Tyler. Maybe it was someone else. But Flatbush Zombie. It was, no, it wasn't Flatbush Zombies. Because you said Mosh Pit. And right, like, right, right. In New York, so it, yeah. I'm nah, maybe it was. Maybe it was. Maybe it was Tyler. And then it was like, but I was Tyler on. Tyler didn't do no Fool's Go Day Off. He didn't. No, yeah. That's why I'm like. So it was somebody else. Probably was me. True. I did every year except the past two. Anytime I mosh at your shows, though, like, niggas would get mad. Like, you had, like, everybody wearing fashions at your show. That's a lie. I swear to God, it happened. Who you was with? I don't remember. Fashion niggas? I, I would not. Nah, nah. I wasn't trying. I was just, up. I don't know. You, you, when you go to my shows, niggas was mad at you for At your shows, up. yeah. Niggas was mad at you for stepping yeah. up. Are you trolling me right now? I think at first it was crazy, and then it was, like, people who, like, just do this moshing. Sometimes you get them to go crazy. Yo, bro, nah, bro. Nigga, the kids these days. I think now it's different. Now it's every now it's everywhere mosh. across. Kids don't know how to mosh. Do you all right, but do you remember when you even at um when you first met Lou, right? Yeah. At that concert. He ah, was one of like ten percent that was moshing though. You know what I mean? Uh, so it was hard oh, yeah, in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. hard in the beginning. Oh, you talking about the I thought you meant that. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, no, 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 no. I'm talking about that. Yeah, I'm talking all about right, all right. I'm exactly. talking about when I was in high school. I got you, got you. All right, I'm, all right, all right, you're right, you're right. I'm but before we oh, even wait, get wait, to wait, that. Hold, oh. hold up, hold up. You're right. Yeah. Your man Bari jumped into the crowd. Yeah. And fell on cement <laughs> and got back up <laughs> and started moshing. You know what? I know what I'm talking about. The Creators Project. Yeah. In Brooklyn. Dumbo. But it even took a couple shows after that. Like, it really took a while for people to get on it. Nah. I think it did. Not, bro, Santos. That was our oh, first Santos show. Oh, Santos was pretty crazy. Santos, yeah. was, Santos, our Santos first was crazy. Show. That was crazy. Yeah. Then Creators Project. Yeah. Three shows yeah. after that. Damn. I just remember, I don't know, I don't know who was performing, but when you talk about Masha's not made it look cool, I was like on a blind date with a friend, and it was like uh, this, this Spanish chick, and they was about to start moshing, and I was like, oh, man, if I get in that mosh, like, it's over. Like, she, she not going to fuck with me. That was it. <laughs> and I looked at her, and I looked at the pit, and I just jumped in the pit. I ain't yo, bro, talked to her after that. Yo, the most attractive shit mm -hmm. is a pretty fly bitch that actually be in a mosh burnt out. Like, no, that's you why ever, you fuck with me. You ever see, <laughs> you ever see casual bitch? Like, you be like, yo, you way too short to be in this shit. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did you survive? Like, you be seeing girls just, like, in the middle of the yeah. shit. And it's just like, how? That's why I got with Aaron. She was going to the Juggalo shows. What? Yeah. She they was wilding. She was getting kicked in the face. They all that. Wilding. Yeah. Juggalo, that's hardcore. Danny Brown used to try to take me to them shit. And you wouldn't go? The Insane Clown Posse shit? Yeah. Bro, them shit's different. I know. I know. Different. It's, it's almost, I wouldn't go there either. It's almost on some... Uh, uh, on some Klansman shit. At, nah. Hell... Low key though, right? Wouldn't you be nah, scared to go there as a black some, person? On, on some, on some, on some. What's my son's name? Not Alex Cooper. Um, um, my nigga who used to throw shit up on it on people and shit. Uh, Gigi Allen. Gigi Allen. Mm. It remind me of some Gigi Allen yeah. shit, bro. Like yeah, I be seeing true. niggas still shitting on Gigi Allen grave, saying I love you. Yeah. And shit. Like they'll go to his grave and like. It's fucking weird. Jesus. Oh wait, back to the yam story. Yeah. Basically, I met, uh, I joined ASAP in like 2005, 2006, 2007. Damn. I met Relly in 2006. ASAP, Relly, and me went to high school together. He was the only nigga that was in there that was getting flopped. Other than that, like everybody else was on some regular shit. The whole school, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. He come to school, Gucci, Supreme, all that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, I used to come to Supreme school. Supreme in 06? 05, 06. Okay. And he used to come to school with that every day. You know, skinny jeans, all that. Nobody else was dressing like that back then. Me and him started rocking tough. By 07, mm -hmm. I joined ASAP. And like, tough. Like, I was already fucking with them 06, but 07, I joined. Yeah. One day I'm in Harlem and I see Rel. What was the joining like? I used to be in Harlem and I used to see the ASAP niggas and they was fly. They used to wear like skinny jeans and shit. And I was wow. the only nigga in my crew dressing like that. Yeah. So I was with this crew called MDB. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My son Rel Money, my son Knock, my son Rob Money. 
We all used to be in that shit. And um, we was really about Harlem. It was about it's a million dollar baby. My, my boy got a lawsuit when he turned 18 for a okay. million dollars. Wow. I think it looked just like the baby too. Wow. But um, he was a childhood best friend. Yeah. And, and he got some money and we all was rapping together, all this other shit. And when I was with them, I really didn't fit in too much because I was too much of some Rick Owens right, rap right. type of nigga. Right. These niggas was real like Polo, was Nordica, yeah. Harlem, right, right. Mermont shit, you know what I'm saying? And so when I'm on some Supreme shit, they not really, they nah, don't even nah. know what that is. It's nah. just like, it wasn't cool back then. Right. And um, you know, I, I, I see these niggas, I start fucking with these niggas, but throughout time, I, I kind of started shifting, becoming a member of ASAP. So by 07, I see, you know, one day I see Rel in Harlem in 06. He with the ASAP niggas. I'm like, what the fuck you doing in Harlem? Yeah. I'm like, what you doing with these niggas? Cause I always see these niggas. I'm like, yo, you fuck with these niggas? Like, yeah. So I see all the niggas start giving them that. They fuck with me cause I had all the bitches back then. You know what right. I'm saying? Niggas was like, you know, on some Harlem shit was just trying to get girls, bro. That's all it was. Yeah. Girls was trying to get niggas. Niggas was trying to get girls at these cookouts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just hope you go drink some nutcrackers. Hope you don't get shot type shit. What's a nutcracker for the people that don't know? A nutcracker crack is a, a, a very affordable elixir made by um, um, people from the hood. It's like basically cognac or liquor mixed with some type of fruity beverage with fruit at the bottom. Mm -hmm. They let it sit, marinate, it gets okay. you fucked up. It's like ghetto moonshine for the hood. But five dollars? Five or ten dollars, depending on who you cop it from. And yeah. that shit gets you fucked up. That's true. You know what a, nut, what a nutty is? Yeah, I know what a nut buster is. A nutty is a 50 cent soda that you buy from the corner stores in New York. And if you drink those, it fuck up your sperm count. So I wouldn't suggest or recommend any yachts take that. Fuck with a nutty buster. It's tropical fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you oh, think man. that shit true? What? About the nutty busters. That was a hood myth. I said that to Erin. She was like, what the fuck are you talking you about? You never know. <laughs> it was too good to be true that they were 50 cents. Yeah, I know. So they had to come up with that nickname. Damn. So you were switching crews. Switching crews. And one day, in, in the midst of me switching crews throughout the whole time, it's just like a year. Mm -hmm. I got Barry telling me, yeah, yo, all we got to do is play your shit for Stevie E. Uh, uh, he going to fuck with it. I'm telling you, yo, you got to fuck with Stevie E. Everybody telling me stories about how Stevie E did this, Stevie E did this, Yams did that, Yams did this. And so I'm like, where's this nigga? Oh, he in LA, he living here. He got this older bitch, he living there. I remember, oh, you just missed him? He was out here for the weekend, shit like that. Imagine, right, 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 right. like, what the fuck you mean? Yeah. Why nobody ain't call? Yo, he was for with us the years. whole weekend. For like two years, bro. It's like, and like imagine like, never speaking of Damn. So, so weird. By like 07, mm -hmm. the end of 07, going on like 08, like, that's around the time when, when, um, Yams start coming back around. And so I never met him and one day my old crew is in ASAP about to have a fight. Yeah. So we all meet up in the park. When we meet up in the park, it's this short nigga with braids and red flannel on. Yeah. A big ass tattoo and a big ass birthmark on his face. Yeah. The nigga got Braids, a fucking beanie, thermal, some vans, and some APC jeans. Wow. I remember everybody outfits. And I'm looking at this nigga, and, he, and, and the shirt he had on was a Deadline shirt. Wow. Remember okay. Deadline? I do remember Deadline. That t-shirt? Yep, yep. He had, she had a Deadline shirt. Shout out to my nigga June. He just shout out Deadline. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. We forget Go about back. Deadline. Yeah. We forget about <laughs> Deadline. Like, that shit wasn't fire back then. But he had a Deadline shirt on. And um, Bari had on the Supreme Tim mm -hmm. with the, the brown ones with the purple. He had on, like, some, some blue Subies on. And he had an Army camo. Right. Um, not camel, but an army. Uh, Baseball tee? Nah, like the army. Uh, it's like a camel jacket, but it's the all okay. solid green. Uh, ah, okay, except okay, the okay. camouflage. It was the, right, it's right. the same. Mm. Yeah, you had the camel jacket, but just without the camouflage. Right, it was green. Yeah. Um, Ailes had on a Prada um, suede jacket. Yeah. Some silver Alessandro Delacqua's. That with what? The, the hot top straps. I don't even know that brand. Alessandro Delacqua's. We, no. we all had those. Them shits was hard. And he had on 
some blue nudie jeans. Bro. Wow, okay. Yeah, and um, basically, we all went to the park. <laughs> Barry and the nigga start throwing hands. Barry start getting the best of the nigga. Other niggas start jumping in, so other ASAP niggas start jumping in. But me and me and my uh, boy Naka, you know, we didn't really want to see both families fighting and shit. Yeah. So he broke that up. Everybody exchanged words, and you know, Yams was there, and everybody was fighting, and that was the first day I really officially was like chose, and you know, was on some ASAP shit. And um, when I went upstairs. First thing me and Yant, we went back upstairs to Barry House because Barry and Naka lived across the street from each other. Yeah. And we went back upstairs to Barry House. And um they helped me hop a cab, by the way, getting over there. Man, I heard he was in infamous for Oh that. yeah, I was nigga, I could to this day, don't nobody <laughs> hop cabs better than Flago. <laughs> oh, to this day. You ever test it out? Yeah, nah, nigga, I'm nigga, listen, the way I used to hop cabs. Mm -hmm. Bro, there was a whole method to it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like the way I hop, the way I hop cabs was beautiful. It was a profession. Wow, I'm a professional cab hopper. How was he doing? That was my first career before rapping. Okay. Yeah, I used to help niggas hop cabs. They would come to you and they say, "Yo, yo, I'm downstairs. Can you. Yeah. can you come pay for my cab? Knowing I'm broke is a joke." Right, right, right. So then, what I would do is come downstairs, go to the cab with a dollar balled up in my hand. Yeah. When he come to the window, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he rolling down the window, <laughs> act like you about to put that shit in the nigga head. <laughs> Sometimes they'll lock the door, right, so right. niggas gotta hop out the right. back window. Gotta <laughs> pot of there, fuck is you talking about? Gotta pot of there on them niggas. You shitting me? I mean, one time the nigga, matter of fact, this night that Barry fought the, the ASAP, I mean, the, the night MDB and them niggas fought, nigga, the, the cab driver was circling around the block for an hour. Wow. Nigga called the cops, we looking at the nigga outside, downstairs from the nigga being like, yo, he's still outside. Wow. Nigga like, motherfucker. chicken. I will find you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to find you. This nigga yelling in the neighborhood. Oh, fuck. Nigga, we trying to fight niggas. We got to wait, postpone it. And he's like, yo, we coming. Damn. And then we got upstairs, me and Yams just start talking about music. Yeah. All day. And since that day, every day from that day, I was like, I saw Yams every day or spoke some every day. And the nigga was a magical creature, bro. Yeah. This nigga was wild magical, you know, he introduced me to a world and people I never knew and you know what I'm saying? This shit was crazy. I miss I miss a lot of those yeah. old days, man. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Yams. As I'm looking at like I'm just looking at Yams the whole time. You with this handheld, you gotta catch my man real quick. Shout out to my bro. That's his first Newport cover. Yeah, I remember that. He got paid a lot for that. He got paid a lot. How'd you put it banned a lot of cigarette ads? Before the cigarette ads was banned, yeah. my son got the endorsement. He got last one in. His name is Lil Newport. You see it, you know? You know what I'm saying? Damn. That's how we do. Get it? Yo, can we trade hats? You wanna trade hats? Yeah, just for the like duration yeah. of the show. Yeah. Yeah. You got a big ass fucking head. Yeah, bro. Damn, Actually, bro. that hat. Um, this fits me. It is. I don't fit no one in this hat. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> the fact, the fact that that almost fits you. Yeah. You got a big fucking head, man. I do got a big head, bro. But that's because I think different. <laughs> All right. <laughs> man, somebody I didn't get to ask you about last time. Um, the Shop of Ranks video. Yeah. Because that shit was iconic. Thank you. Tell me about that fucking video, bro. Because before you actually even get into it, bro, you had Uzi in that video. Mm -hmm. You had Ian Dirty Ass in that video. <laughs> Everybody was in there. That shit was crazy. All right, so Ian Connor came to ASAP on some 2011 shit. Yeah. He joined ASAP. Bari brought him to ASAP, and he joined ASAP like 2011, 2012, mm -hmm. right? Right. Um... Ian had to Ian had to go through boot camp, right. so you know y'all put him through hell. Yeah, he went through hell, but he he was a real brother. Yeah, so he showed that he wasn't just here for yeah, the wave yeah. for the ride. Like he that's wasn't why there for the coin. He wasn't there for the coin. You no. know what I'm saying? So 
niggas was like real love, real family shit. So yeah. he had to go through trials and tribulations. Yeah. What were um, some of them trials? Trials like getting beat up by the brothers, like always getting picked on. It's always his fault. Um, you know, he was young. He was only 18. You know Y'all was saying? mean back then, man. But think about it. Y'all was mean. Yeah, we, nah, bro. We loved that. We still like that nigga, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> nigga, that's what brothers do to brothers. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's what brothers do to brothers, bro. Yeah. Like, come on now. We was just only treating them like a brother would. Yeah. You know, everybody was living together. It's not like niggas was just, you know, when you got a house full of like 11 niggas living in one house together. Yeah, it's a lot of tension. Shit is going to go on. Gonna so go you got to make sure at every time, like. Everybody on the same page. It's yeah. just codes of conduct, all that. Right. It's a lifestyle we adapt to. Bro, niggas don't be knowing how to f finesse these clothes. No, no. Talk to these ladies. Ladies. I wasn't going to say the H word. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Of course. They don't be knowing how to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do all that. Like, they don't know how to put it together. They don't mm. really, uh, uh, all that. Nah, bro. Yeah. They got that from Yamagini University, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said. You graduated. <laughs> with that being said. It was like probably like it was probably like uh, 2013, and for I was on tour with either Rihanna or Wiz Khalifa at the time. Yeah. And um, Fur came on my bus. My bus had a, a a studio on it, and he came on my bus, and he was just like, "Yo, like I got this new song. This shit kind of hard." Yeah. He played it for me, and when he played it the first time, it was like. It was a hype, but it was catchy. Right, right, right. So then I was like, oh, it's all right. It's not bad. But then I was like, yo, play that again. Yeah. He played it again. I was like, oh, I like it. So like maybe like a month or two passed. Mm. And then we all together with the homies and we chilling. Right, right. And he played it. And for some reason when he played it, it sounded it's like a way, new, way better. Yeah. But he ain't changed nothing to it or nothing. Yeah. I'm like, Whoa. So I'm like, nah, I got to get on that, bro. Right. And so he let me do all that, or whatever. He's like, yeah, for sure, nigga. So after when you that, hear that like, song, you just want to elbow somebody in the face. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, yo, bro, you gotta let me direct the video. He like, nigga, you better direct the fucking video. Yeah. Nigga, what you mean? I bet I got you. So I, I'm like, yo, just find a director. Let me write the treatment. Find a director. Right, right. They found this kid, Andrew, and basically, um, I told him like what I wanted, from start to finish. Mm -hmm. The reason why I cast the Ian, not only because he was in house. But he looked to me as a, a shop of ranks, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. I was just like, what if we make him the facade of Shabba? Right, Even right. having Shabba in the video wasn't yeah. enough because wasn't kids enough. don't know who yeah, Shabba ranks is for yeah. this culture yeah. unless they, you know, yeah. older or whatever the case is. So I felt like that that alone was, a, you get, you know, it connected. It made sense. And I, He was and like, went, a, like an energy. Like he was basically, fully, he was Shabba ranks. He embodied it. Yeah, he it was amazing. It. That was his first was acting debut. That's what, what about Uzi? Uzi was in there. Uzi, we had to have Uzi in there yeah. just based on Gabe. the fact. Well, the, you're Gabe now, yeah. changed his name. But the reason why we had Uzi was because this is at a time, if you really look at it, when niggas wasn't putting VHS in their videos. Nah, like nobody. Every, nobody. Nobody was putting Super 8 VHS. Nah. So I wanted to super, like, you know, I wanted to have shit that looked superimposed and shit that was, like, different, you know, yeah. textures and feels. So that's why we use different film, you know, mm -hmm. a, little, a couple of film mixed with VHS. And he was shutting it down at the time. At that time, he was the only nigga really doing that, right? Yeah. And then VHS blew up, but oh, that's yeah, why, you know. a huge thing. Yeah, so, you know, the video was supposed to just be us and like this weird castle and yeah. us just doing a bunch of random stuff. I, I just wanted it to feel like a random video. That video you know was crazy. Because bigger than... um. Bigger than even the concept, seeing Ian and, uh, and and Gabe in the video was like a big thing because it was like, like here are these two people you know from the internet, from like Instagram, uh, uh, Tumblr, but this is the first time you seeing them reach mainstream media. Yo, that was crazy. And but Ian was already ASAP for three years by then. Think about it. That was twenty fourteen. Yeah, but you only knew Ian from like. Posting the like, he had like the middle finger photos yeah, at you, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, he yeah. knew how to market himself correctly yeah, in it, yeah. but you didn't really know, no, because you never publicly said it. Yeah. He was just there. So it was like seeing them in the video though, because, you know, like now, like I know you, like I know Tyler, like, like the way it works now is like it's all one place. Mm -hmm. But when you brought Ian and, and Gabe in the video, it was like this is seeing them in mainstream media. It's like you saying, look, this is like where we're looking. Like we're looking at the kids. Like wow. we we got our eyes on that. Wow. 
That was the first time you saw it was possible and it could be a real thing. Damn, that's the fact that you pointed that out like that is crazy. Yeah, because you got to think, like, as many, like, fucked up things you can say about Ian, because he's a very just dark individual, but also yeah. a beautiful human being at yeah. the same, like, he's a beautiful piece of shit. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But, like, I, like I, I love him and I hate him at yeah. the same time. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. Yeah, yeah that's it. Everybody's relationship and, with him. And you know the fucked up part about it, about <laughs> it is, though? Yeah. Like... I've heard about some people doing some real fucked up shit. Yeah. Yeah. I could say that, like, he gets picked on a lot more than, like, people think. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. a lot of it is, yeah. a lot of it is cyberbullying yeah. and, yeah. you know? I think it's more because you just, I don't know. I mean, well, even, even when I think about, like, like how how he did it, and and even when he was with, with you and with Wiz, and like the way he positioned himself as a stylist first, mm -hmm. and then it was like, like that that was inspiring to to some extent for sure, and like definitely was like oh here's like a high school dropout who's like finding his own way, being like just with his brain, like with street knowledge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that was really cool. The Shabba rings that that was very iconic, and then even when you think about when you think about um. A lot of people, when I was even talking to um, Blood, Bloody Osiris about this, um, he was like, the way he found out about Rick Owens and, and these brands, and even with me, was like through you. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew who the fuck Andy Mulamisa was. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That shit was crazy. Mm -hmm. and, and I think I said it in the last one, but like really, like nobody really said these brand names in the songs. Like you kind of like, you was feeding everybody. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that's why people appreciate me. Yeah. It's just like, damn, you did put me on it. Yeah. Time. That's the thing, though, like... when it's okay to say, because you got to think about fashion right then. Like, what you was wearing wasn't even that crazy. I know. Right now, what you was wearing is like... No, I was normal. wearing what we wear yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, That's normal. Yeah, it's I crazy. I Rick and... Yeah. But who's Perry Ellis? <laughs> why the fuck y'all keep saying that? Y'all, nigga, ask Cardi. <laughs> your man, your man, Cardi. Who the fuck is Perry Ellis? Yo, your man, Cardi, meant to say Rav Simmons, Fred Perry. He said Perry Ellis. <laughs> nigga, when Cardi first, when Cardi first joined, when Cardi first joined us, when we first came around, like yeah. 2015 and shit, uh -huh. that nigga used to call V Lone blown. Nigga, like, I'm more blown. blown than you is, nigga. I'm more blown than you is, nigga. Nigga said like Cardi crazy. Yo, this hat has a mind of its own, like. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, this hat kind of crazy. Yeah, type of shit. I feel like a, a, a rabbit just gonna, like, pop out of it. The last time we talked. I dropped the video, mm -hmm. and two weeks later, mm -hmm. I went to jail. You went to jail, and Ian went to jail. Yeah, two brothers. That shit, it bugged me out. You jinxed us. Huh? We both went to jail after we did the interview. No, 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 no. I nah. better not go to jail after this. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah, we both both unfortunately went to jail. I was in in Sweden in jail talking yeah. to the homies and they put Ian on the phone. Wow, and really? Me and him was just laughing about that shit, like just dying. Like, yo, we both. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. That really happened? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Lou, Lou put us on the phone. Yeah, Lou and Luke. Oh my god. Yeah. And niggas was just dying. Like, yo, how the fuck us of all people was in here right now? It like, was me. <laughs> Kerwin, nigga. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Nah, you know, when you think about that situation, and you know, it's kind of like reason why I don't even DJ as much anymore. Why? Cause it's going to a foreign country. Not even cause going to foreign countries, because as a DJ, you're like the kind of front for this like free bass thing. It's like when somebody looks at a rapper, right? And I've even done shows like, like I did um, like a Palm Angels DJ set mm -hmm. where a Gunner was performing and I was DJing. And we was probably getting paid the same amount, like no lie, like, like for real. I swear to God, I swear, because I don't really DJ like that. But we was probably getting the same amount. When I got there, the security cares more about Gunna, because they're not used to seeing like just like a DJ roll up and people know who he is. But to the point where they go like this, like 
Like sometimes when I'm DJing, I have people come up to me and be like, "Yo, like you remember we was in the LES and um at that Rat King apartment and we was just like talking and then we ate some food. Like you want to come smoke with us over here? Shit like that happened to me. Yeah. And I was like, "Yo, like you seeing how people treat you when they know who you are, opposed to when they don't know who you are." Not even that, but it's just like you don't want to be somebody that has a security with them all the time because that's not even my energy. Like, I'm somebody that come with love. Yeah, oh, and oh, niggas oh, could oh, be oh, really sure. intense. Oh, yo, yo, listen, let me tell you, bro. You know me. I like yeah. to walk around, bro. bro I course. like to walk around. I like to of be one with the, because that's how I could tell or dictate what's next yeah. for me, at yeah. least. You know what I'm saying? Like, security does, it, it, it's good to have security, but a lot of times, like, Security make people act more crazy. Yeah. So like, if a girl know that she can't come up to you directly and then say hello, it's a date. They, that's when they start. Nah. Yeah. So crazy to get shit. attention. You know what I mean? Yep. But when it's just normal, it's like, hey, I love your shit. Hey, how you doing? Thank you. Yeah. Yo, I love when you did so. That's all I want to tell you. Yeah. Have a hug. Go. You know what I'm saying? That's the shit. You know what I mean? It's just security. But even with me, man, it's just like, I think what happened was just real unfortunate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying it was just. The wrong place, wrong time type shit, and I don't what think what is I was the done. right place though. You feel me? You know what you know? I mean? What is the right place? Yeah, yeah. And for me, that was more what I was in fear of. It was just like we live in a world today where somebody would even come up and do something like that, that. that and, and and get away with treat it. you inhuman and get away with it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, and it just yeah. showed. Like I was talking to Meek, I was talking to a few people, and they was just like, "Yo, bro, it just go to show you, bro. Even with money, that shit still could happen to you, yeah, bro." Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying and. I was in of, tears, man. That, that shit yeah. made me so sad. A lot of shit fucked me up because it was just like, you know what I'm saying? Let me, oh, let's trade back hats though, because I think was, you kind of taking the flock with Jody Swag. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I would say this. I was talking to, I was talking to me. Mm -hmm. I was talking to a couple of people and they just was like, you know, yo, bro, it go to show that, you know, it could happen to anybody. And, yeah. you know, that whole experience more so than ever, it kind of just, you know, had me in jail thinking like, am I, was I wrong? Right. Damn, maybe I am wrong. Damn, maybe it is my fault. Like you be in solitary confinement right, so right, long, right. no windows, nothing. Did you have lights? To, to, you could have like, you could put lights okay, on, okay. but the, it was, it was um, daytime. Right. 22 hours of the day. Oh, okay. Oh. In Sweden. So it's oh. only night for two hours. So wow. you're depressed. you seeing yeah, light yeah, all day, fucking like all day. day yeah. All day, bro. Damn, okay. I hated the light. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could have slept all day. You got to right. really stick it through that shit. Yeah. Like on some mental institution shit. But basically, motherfuckers is on some shit like making me feel like I'm wrong or, you know, and I didn't want to feel sorry for myself or play a victim or whatever. You weren't wrong. Yeah, you know, I know. And so I'm on the news and then I'm speaking back to people and they like, yo, you know, the states, everybody going crazy, the president, uh, uh, and then you got people on, you know, black Twitter, they brung up some shit that you said and yeah. la, da, da, like saying you don't really care about the hood and shit like that, you know, and I, I thought I addressed that before yeah, in the past yeah. and just to be in jail, hearing people still trying to stir up some weird right. shit, then having a nigga, then I'm hearing like, yo, Charlemagne came to your defense. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? The person who would, who would advocate with this. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, 100%. he literally was just like, yo, y'all gotta have a mind of y'all own sometimes, yeah, and y'all gotta stop yeah. trying to perpetuate whack fake the shit. Cancel culture is out of line. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But what I will say is, though, you know what I'm saying? From, from everything, those old interviews, I used to say shit like, yo, bro, I think that it's inappropriate for me to rap about certain shit that I didn't help with. I felt like when it came to Ferguson, J. Cole went down and he he actually was on the news and he actually helped. He I felt like he deserved to rap about that. Yeah. He deserved to say something about right, that. Right. So when somebody asked me that, you know, I get the the in 2015 I was just like I just feel like personally, if right. I'm in Soho or yeah. I'm here, well, I can't even talk on that. Like that right, ain't right. right. That's right. in a That's that's like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. That's that's like appropriating. Yeah. And that's what everybody do. Right. That's like seeing a homeless person on the on the street whipping your camera out, giving them food. You want it to be genuine. It's when not you're saying it. It's it's just pretentious. It's like you telling your fans to believe in themselves when that's what? not even what you would say, say to your homie. So you get yeah, what I'm saying? No, it's no. just some fake shit just to say yeah, it, just, just to do, just yeah. cause yep. for the sake yep. of seeming like a certain type of person. Yeah. And. The only thing I, I feel like I still I'm still not wrong for that. The only part that I was wrong at was that when in my case, yeah. there was people that never been to Sweden. Yeah. There's people that never been to Harlem. Mm. There's people that don't know ASAP Rocky, mm -hmm. but still was empathetic or sympathetic to my situation yeah, and had sure. empathy and could understand and 
was vocal and yeah. helped my situation. Yeah. So I was wrong, you know, and that, and being in the cell thinking about that, like, you know, like of all things, you know. You as a man, like openly saying that now, yeah, is like a crazy big step. Bro, but I've been saying this for the past four years, yeah. but more so than ever, mm. I experienced something to where mm. the shoe was all the way on yeah. the other foot, you did? Yeah. Like, to where it's just like, yeah, I wasn't wrong for what I said, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you know, I had people misconstruing it and I had people... You weren't wrong when you said it the first time. It was just like, the way that it, it was, wasn't yeah, explained and, correctly. You know, yeah. Same and thing with the... It was the, also said in front of like this pre prestigious... Academy, so it makes you sound extra like you get what I'm saying, extra annoying. You get what I'm saying, yeah. And I, and I just, I just look at it like this, right? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, no matter what, what, what goes on in, in, in celebrities' lives and shit like that, like, yeah. bro, it be sh other shit to it that we don't even yeah, know man. about. So, like, mm -hmm. when I'm thinking back at like looking at the OJ shit, and, yeah. and, and and every five seconds I'm looking at TV, I'm seeing myself. Yeah. You just never really know what's going on. And right. throughout this whole shit, pe I'm hearing people probably saying like, yo, the nigga just loving it right now. He living like, ah, uh, ah. Yeah, uh. yeah. It's people like, oh, you know, the Swedish Jill's are nice. He's okay. Yeah, that it's was people, a meme. Yeah, yeah, it's people saying it's just, just wild they shit. just finding some it's, stupid it's, shit to it's say. It's people saying that like, me and Trump plant this shit. There's people in it. And, and, and it breaks down and it just goes to show. It's just yeah. like, yo, bro. When it when it's really all said and done, that real life really kicks in, man. Like yeah. real shit happens. None of that shit matters. No. Well, all that mattered to me, bro, was getting the fuck, fuck out, out of that there. jail, yeah. bro. Like none of that shit mattered, bro. Nothing that nobody was talking about. That's why I, I ain't come out trying to make it extra. I, I, yeah. you know what I'm saying I would rather make do something noise. positive. That's why I'm like, yo, bro. What I saw over there was people that you know that weren't Swedish, that were in jails and all this other stuff. And yeah. people don't know about the immigration problem over yeah. there. You don't know about it because you're not in it. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's my thing. It's like, I could right. talk about that now and I don't want to just talk about it, I want to do something. So that's right, why I'm right, going right, back right, to the hood. Right, that's why I'm yeah. donating. I'm, yeah. I'm, I was in it. I seen these Africans, these well, Muslims, these Arabs yeah. that don't have family, that's sitting in a jail for yeah. 10 months, two years, right. two weeks. Waiting to get sentenced. Yeah. Just waiting just to get sentenced. Just in there. Like, not even on something like, you get arrested and you just go there. Yeah, yeah. They ain't even. You don't go see a judge yeah, and no. they don't say, yo, you're in trouble for you so, so, so. You just holding until yeah. they figure out what they want to say to you. Yeah. That's just backwards. So, it's crazy. So, you know, I didn't see how poor people is over there. I was just like, I could easily just. Talk about, hey, everybody donate $2 for this or that. Yeah. Or I'm going to go back myself. Yeah. Take my funds myself and make a difference. Keep my promise. Put on a fucking crazy concert. I try to do shit, donate to the jail I was in. Well, that's what I was going to say. You went back. They they denied us everything and you know what I'm saying? And hopefully next year they allow us. I'm I'm not going I'm not going to go about this being sour. Yeah. Cuz then that's when niggas you give niggas a reason to be like, "Oh no, nah, we be not yeah. no." Nah, no, nah, I'm just Wait, they denied you in Sweden? They said that we could we could donate the new uniforms to right, all inmates. Right. We made new V Long uniforms. Wow. They saying that I could perform for the jails. Yeah. We we it was time to come out there. Everybody's talking about they like, nah. Damn. So then other jails start reaching out, like, yo, come to our jail. Right, and right. Sweden was just But like, you did get you, you you did get to go to the projects. I went to the, the projects. You got to I went to the, the projects. I went to the projects. I went to a few projects. I went to yeah. the I went to the uh community centers, the rec centers, the yeah. refugee bit, uh base shit like that. I went to the no-go zones. They call it the no-go zones. It's the yeah. hood. That's because the cops don't go out there. None of that shit. I went to all that shit, man. I was with the people. I gave them all tickets to come to the show. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And everybody had a good time, and nobody got arrested. I ain't, I didn't start a riot, and I'm not yeah. trying to do nothing. That's just like, I'm not trying to shit on no country or nothing, bro. Yeah, no, I'm no. just trying to help some people out that look like me. Yeah. You know? That's really it. That's true. I mean, when you think about it, it's like... I can't do it all, you know. I, no, nigga, I got not. problems myself. Everybody got yeah. problems, you know. what I'm saying America got problems. I got just people here that I love ones that I gotta help. So, you know, what I'm saying. Yeah. This sweater is so fire. Thank you. This uh. You told me. Yeah. But this is vintage. This is like old. So six. Oh six. Same year. Yep. I said it though. Yeah. You heard me just say six. I heard you say six. How'd you know? 
You could just tell? No, because I, I know. I remember it, nigga. Oh, you remember this? Yeah, they had a ton of those. You don't know nothing about this, right? Cut it out. I'm going to come clean. I remember it's like 06. Yeah. You know what? who else used to do shit like this? Who? Belchez, remember? Belchez. You from Foster. I know Belchez, man. Yeah, Belchez used to do shit like that. I cannot believe you just said Belchez. Nigga, that's Harlem. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, man. So Belchez lived in, in Harlem and... Foster, in Taft. Or, oh, no, Foster. Foster. I lived in Foster as well. And and he's... He's Shaq West's godfather. What? Yeah, that's how Shaq Bro, got on. you know how much I love... Do Shaq know how much I love him? I don't know. Let him know. I don't think so. You did not even for the... Don't we only got to put this in there. Yeah. Let, bro, I personally love that nigga, bro. Damn. Like, word. Like, just as a fan. Just, That's crazy. Because he's Harlem and he just have fun in yeah. every bit. Yeah. He don't be trying to stunt, like, no. shit on nigga. Like, everything is fun. Yeah. And you feel that energy you when you hear the music. Energy. It's so natural. It's naturally fun. It's like, um... You know the Scouts? You, you heard yeah, that song? Yeah, yeah. That, to me, was like how you described Shaba, where at first it's like, wait, what uh, the fuck is this? You got to listen to You Know the Scouts like four times, and then you. it's then a best song. song. It's crazy. That's how I felt about uh, Wanted. Mm. 414, I was Wanted. Yeah, yeah. Because that's, that's what was going yeah. on. <laughs> Niggas went to 14th Street, yeah. back to 116th. Yeah. I was born yeah. on 116th Street. Damn. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, this nigga talking. Damn. He talking that shit. He talking that shit. Yeah. I fuck with him. Fuck with him. Another thing is, too, like, everybody want to cancel him, cancel this, all this yeah. other shit. I, fu I, I fucks with Justine Scott because that's my sis. Same. I like Sheck West yeah. as a musical artist. I don't know what happened with that situation. Yeah. I really hope that they figured it out. Yeah. I wasn't there. And, uh, you know, I hope that they figure that out. Same. We was on... Um... I read that you lived in a shelter when you was younger. Yeah. I lived in a shelter too. For real? Yeah. Mine's on the Hunt Fourth and Broadway. Oh wow. I don't remember where mine was. It was in Queens somewhere. I don't I don't Cause remember. Because we had first we was in Queens. Okay. And How old was you around that time? Like eleven. Wow, okay. Yeah. I was there a lot younger. That's probably why I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. I was like maybe six, five. Oh no, nah, I was yeah. eleven all the way to wow. like fourteen in the shelter. Eleven to fourteen. Yeah, yeah, man. What was that like? Cause for it was me trash. For me It was all right though. Oh yeah. Niggas was poor. It's just you couldn't bring Niggas to your house, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But other than that, like it was, it, it was when I was out the shelter, yeah. lifestyle was the same. Right, 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 right. Yeah, <laughs> same yeah. struggles and everything. You feel me? When I was living there, it was like at such an early age, like opening a fridge and seeing all these labels, like you know what I mean, like all these foods belong to different people. Wow. Yeah, man. There was like one fridge, and then we shared a room. It was me, my half sister, my half brother, just like in there, man. It was crazy. No lie, bro. Yeah. That's the shit that makes us. 100%. That's 100%. the shit that makes us. Because, like, all jokes aside, bro, mm -hmm. when you in that, yeah. as a kid, yeah. you don't know what life brings. So, nah, to nah. you, you think this is hell and this is life and it's over. Yeah. I feel like people like me and you two just have a... We're really good at readjusting. <sighs> so, it's like, when you talk about, when you talk about, like, not being able to relate is because with us, like our hat, like where we laid a hat was always a home. So for you, it's like when you get to that level, you probably not even, you're not even looking back. And you don't want to look back because it's like, yo, like we've seen some fucked up shit. Come on, bro. It's true. Nigga, I agree with you 100%. Nigga, niggas still agree. see fucked up yeah, shit. Yeah, 100%. Like y'all got it fucked up. 100%. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. I'm not going to try to use your, your, your uh, platform or this interview to. Justify shit that people think about me. If you yeah. don't like me, suck my dick. I don't give a fuck. God, That's how I feel. Word. Oh, That's man. never going to change. You shit me. That's good. Um, but my whole thing is, right. yo, nah, but my whole thing <laughs> is, yo, I know my right. And, and we living in a day and age where idiots have a platform to have an opinion. Yeah. They call trolls. Yep. yep. I don't, that, that, I, I, I'm with the trolls. Nigga, yeah. we, nigga, ASAP Yams is one of the first trolls that yeah. I knew, nigga. Like, yeah. niggas can't, <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that with us. So, with that being said, yeah. we're not, we not falling for bait on this side. No, so, no, it's just never. like, so it's just like, I'm still, it's still a part of me that's still like, kind of traditionally like just adjusted or equipped to do real nigga shit. Yeah. So, if I, if I really don't fuck with you, bro, yeah. And we, it's a point where we gotta fight. Yeah. I'm not gonna let you know that in front of the world. Yeah, hell no. 
I'm not gonna say that too. Pull up then, fuck nigga. I ain't gonna make a <laughs> video. Pull up so where? Fuck nigga. For pull up where though? Like what you about to? So you going like you really gonna shoot niggas? You gonna do that? You tough? You gangster? Like that's my thing. It's just like you can't even be tough no more, bro. Yeah, nah, man. That tough shit is dead, bro. Yeah. N niggas is shooting niggas, bro. Where? Please tell me in the last time, bro. Niggas, niggas who get shot, bro, is niggas that's so 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 under the radar, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about. I'm talking about under the radar, right. meaning like, pardon me, niggas who shoot niggas, pardon me, is right. so under the radar. Yeah. Pardon me. Pardon I wouldn't me. be making no selfies. N yeah, niggas who, niggas who shoot niggas and get away with it is yeah. so under the, the radar. When niggas get shot and you niggas don't get caught, those yeah. niggas under the radar. Yeah, that's true. These niggas, y'all telling on yourselves these days, man. You can't say, yo, pull up. We going to fight. We going to shoot. We going to... Nigga, I, I like, you got to be more discreet. And I'm just saying, like, that's, that's the troll... They inherited a troll tactic. Yep. Twitter and all that, that's a troll tactic. And, and you know what I'm saying? And I just don't abide. So, like, when they kind of put the bait out there, I don't bite. So, it's yeah. a lot of shit that niggas do to, to make you, you know what I'm saying? Bite. And you can't, yeah. you can't, you, you gotta stay strong. Because you're not gonna be able to respond to everybody. And everybody gonna have some shit to say. Everybody got some shit to say. And another thing, too, is just like, Everybody got an opinion on what you should be doing. Yeah, if you listen to everybody, man, you're going to be confused. That's a fact. So I do what the fuck I want. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? I know what's right and wrong for me. And that's the thing. Like, a motherfucker going to tell you, man, you should be rapping like this. Yeah. Man, I like when you used to rap how your old style is. Right. How man, you feel about that? Why don't you sing on this? Nigga, I don't listen to but Bro, exactly. I'm going to do what I like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Well, speak, speaking of, tell me about the Babushka Boy video, which was crazy. People don't know. That was actually shot two months before. You got arrested, and people thought that that was like a because they thought that was a response to that. They thought that was a response to that, bro. It was shot and, two months before. But I think that's kind of why a lot of niggas ain't make a big deal out of it. Yeah, yeah. Cause people they, they ain't want to look stupid again. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying, yeah, They're making a big deal out yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. I think they tried to you know start some stuff, but that was my fans. favorite favorite video you've done. Just Thank you, bro. In terms of like you playing with the prosthetics and like yeah. getting everybody in there, and then like. For me, when I saw that, I was like, oh, music video is coming back. Like, yeah, yo, for real. I felt the same way when yeah. I watched the Babies video. Mm. I love the Babies video. Okay, which one? All of them. Yeah. I, like, I like Bob's. Yeah. I like, I obviously, Baby on Baby. I like, uh, you know, his best one is Bop, but yeah, yeah. like, nigga, the, uh, the other version of Bop where it's the cut scenes and yeah. stuff is fire. Like, Where's that it, version? But somebody showed me, man. It's yeah. like after he hit a hundred million views, I think okay. they just start putting it out. Like, uh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, man. The baby is my favorite right now. He Damn. make this music shit fun again, bro. Wow. Like, and, and I, I agree. bro, I agree. I'm not even trying to sound like no dick sucker, but yeah. like, for real, like, I love. Well, I gotta be dick sucker. No, because I love NBA Young Boy. Right, he right, just right. said in his fucking interviews, like uh, NBA Young Boy is his favorite. I don't want to okay, make okay, it look okay. like I'm, I'm watching little baby right, interviews right, right. and yeah, yeah. saying what the nigga's saying. But I love NBA Young. I Boy. think we had a time for real, for real, where we just like it's okay to appreciate each other. Uh, bro, I don't care. If we not at a time. I'm gonna say what I appreciate. Niggas ain't gonna change that. <laughs> Niggas gonna say what they say, bro. That's a fact. Like, for That's real. A fact. I like. Yeah. I'm loving what Slime and them is doing. Uh -huh. Gunner and them is yeah. fire right now, bro. I like, like what Kerwin doing too. Yo, Kerwin. Hard, That's a fact. Damn, thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Now, uh, shout out to Nadia, man. She came to, she came here to the crib. She came here to uh, Utah. Where are we right now? We ain't, we in Ohio. We, she came here to Ohio. <laughs> See a new house. This is where you laying low. She came here to Ohio, and um, we was, we was working, and the craziest part is I called her. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, I got this crazy idea. I got this dope song I want to do, just like a one-off, come, come fuck with me. I, yeah. I, I got this treatment I wrote. She like, all right, cool. I ain't telling nothing over the phone. She comes over. Mm -hmm. And when she come over, the treatment that I have, I show her. Yeah. And what she was about to present to me was the same Get fucking Get the fuck out of here. I couldn't make this up. Ask her. Wow. Bro, she did the same thing. So I wanted pigs with yeah. prosthetics. Right. Bro, she came with the same thing. She wow. didn't even hear the song yet. Wow. I didn't show her my treatment. Damn. Is that not fucking crazy? That's fucking crazy. That's when we knew it was meant to be. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Made an amazing, amazing video. You know, we're going to do more. What do you think of the reception uh, from Tesla? The perception? I think um, it's, it's like you either love it or hate it. Mm. You know, that's one of those experiments. That was like my Yeezus. Mm -hmm. You know, funny, ironically, Kanye helped me with that, that album. Wait, um, what? Yeah, he came out to Berlin. Do people know that? Nah, people don't know that. Uh, Kanye, Virgil, Dave Chappelle, Most Def. Jason. What was they doing? 
help. I was just working on my album, and MGMT came in. They helped produce, and yeah, they was just helping me, Damn. you know, curate the album. Yeah. yeah, it'd be like, yo, you know, ASAP Forever. He was just like, nah, you should change this, change Damn. that. Like, you know, what I'm saying it was, it was dope. Flew out there, flew the whole Adidas staff. It was, wow. a, it was an experience, man. Like, word. Wow. They helped with that album. I think it, my cult following, I think they get it. They, you know, they love it. 100%. I don't want to put out nothing that's fucking contemporary. I don't yeah. want to put out nothing that sound right. right they they right. be mad at me for that because they know how easy it is for yeah, me to yeah. get on a song and say what they want me to say. Yeah. But what I choose to do with my art, you got to appreciate it. What are you without it. change? You know what I mean? You got to grow. Listen, I look at it like this, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just keep it a buck, man. Like, I feel like if I listen to what everybody tell me to do, I'm going to be fucking confused, bro. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's I'm going to do fact. what I want and would feel right. That's a fact. And that's it. What about working and with Cuddy on that? That shit was fire, bro. It was the Cuddy. Was that the first time y'all worked together? Nah, me and Cuddy worked before yeah, that. that. We worked on his album, the okay. Brothers track, all that. Yeah. But now, nah, like, I love Cuddy. He's one of my favorite. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, that shit was fire, man. Yeah. You know, I'm always always trying to work with Cuddy, but um, yeah, like it was just like Twigs on it, mm -hmm. Dean Blunt, yeah. Lauren Hill really right, singing right. on that. You know, Frank Ocean, yeah, French Montana and Frank Ocean on the same track. I wanted to do wow. things that you would never hear, right, right, right. Mixtures and combinations, you know, you would never hear no. that no. ever. You, you won't hear it again. And you, you know, you a lot of these songs and stuff, you never gonna hear me rap yeah. like that again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's never. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, th I think I'm one of those artists that, you know, I'm just like wine and a lot of people appreciate it the more that they grow and evolve as people that's like music lovers and shit like that. Yeah. I know that's some self-centered shit to say because it's just like still making it about me. Yeah. Because in all reality, I'm basically saying that well, you're like- you painting your picture, you know what I mean? I'm basically saying that, you know, they don't really get it until yeah. two years later, three right. years later, like with LSD, bro. Right. That's like a big that, fact. That album, bro, people were like, Canal Street, I, yeah. I didn't get it when you first, but it's a, excuse me. Right, blah, right, blah, right. Blah. They telling me that when I dropped the testing album. Like, mm. that's, what, that's what we wanted. But in 2015, y'all didn't want that. No, hell no. You know? So I think the best thing, the worst thing you could do is just let the people decide for themselves. Yeah. That, that as far as when it comes to like curating and shit like that, you yeah. just gotta give it to people and let them decide what they like. You know what I'm saying? If, they, if, they, if it's for them, are you more into dropping the singles like how you did with Babushka Boy or the Babushka whole project? Boy is not a single. That's not a fucking single. It's not a single. You don't hit this. You, there was no money put behind that. You don't hear that on the radio. Oh yeah, you're right. It's not a single. You're right. It's a so video. I'm an artist, bro. I'm, That's true. I'm just, it's, it's I, a, didn't know, I didn't know this what to call I, it. I direct, I so it's I, know, a video. I know that. It's either this. It's, it's like this. I'm not the hit dropping kind of guy. So right, it's right, like right. either you going wait for me to drop a whole project, yeah. and with videos on it, or I'm gonna give you what I do best is videos. Right. I like to just drop like people. I'm a visual artist. One hundred percent. You know, that's been since the beginning. Yeah, man. You've been telling these stories through these videos. Yeah. But that's why I'm asking. Do you like dropping something like that, where it's like a like a one off, like like a full directed like? Nah. Or do you like you like more of the full project? Like the full project. Are you working on one right yes. now? Yes. Yeah. What's it sounding like? I'd rather just put it out. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I could sit here and tell y'all what it's sounding like. That shit don't matter. But you're going to perform one of the songs today, right? I'm going to perform. Okay. okay. I'm going to perform one of the new songs. One Train? Fuck you. He's an asshole. What? I thought this he was guy's gonna... a fucking asshole. I thought he was going to freestyle over One Train. You didn't put me on the song. You had like eight other rappers on there. <laughs> Damn. Babushka boy. Babushka boy. Motherfuckers is wearing babushkas. Yeah, man. I like that trend. You like it? You started it? Nah, I didn't. You didn't start it? I did not start the babushka trend. I started it. Correction. <laughs> I was waiting in the studio and then you copied my swag. I mean, but the world. I just came to Berlin to help on testing. The world ain't got to know all that, though, man. You ain't keep that to yourself, bro. All right, all right. That's under wraps. Look. No, my phone, my phone. Making it hot. <laughs> What's your favorite movie right now? I heard you were in a movie. Me? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Uncut Gems, yeah. How'd you like that? It was pretty crazy, so it's like, I kind of have the best part of the movie. 
<laughs> like everybody keeps talking to me about it. Like I get it. Like relax. Like I'm still the same person. But basically, the I, fact that you actually in that movie is fucking hilarious. That's yeah, fire. Yeah, it's pretty fire. How did you get into one of their films before me? Uh, the weekend he put me in there. <laughs> yeah, he put me in there. He was like, "Yo, they want me part of this brothers. movie, but you're better than me at acting." So like. Having you I'm there, I'm quite sure energy. he said that verbatim. Just yeah, like, ver exactly just like, like that. He did not. The say weekend called different. you up and was like, "Yo, bro." He's like, "Yo, be Carolyn." My stunt I was like, "Yo, what's, what's up, Abel?" I call him Abe. You know what I mean? So then he was like, "You know, I'm doing this movie, but like, I know you're a better actor than me. So like, do you want to you want to DJ in it?" So then I was like, "All right, yeah, sure, whatever." So you know, just did him a favor, pulled up, and uh, you know, I was like, you know, everybody knows my famous line. Um, I'll do it right now for you if you want. So. Wait, how did that go? This is my famous. I mean, I'm probably gonna win some. Like, so this Academy like, Award. This video gonna age well because I'm probably gonna win. So <laughs> I'll, I'll do it for you. You know, while I can before everybody start asking about it. So it's, yo, do you have to put a Zoolander face? The on? weekend needs his black light. <laughs> yeah. Or he's not gonna perform. That can't be your line. That's my line. That's right there. Ah! But yo, you was in the movies too, so. You was you was in dope. That was a pretty dope thing. Like Bro, that movie old, man. That was that was pretty dope though. I'm in new movies. Yeah? Yeah. What you in now? Uh You just gonna skip over dope? You just gonna disrespect dope? Hell no. That's not dope you. Yo, you know Yams was supposed to be in dope? Oh for real? He he uh he slept. Oh wow. Damn. The car scene when I'm sitting on the car? Yeah. Yeah, I'm supposed to be there. You was actually really good in that movie. So we had to use my bodyguard. Wow. Because James didn't show up. What movie are you about to be in now? It's called, I don't know what it's called, because the names keep, the name keeps changing. Yeah. And usually that's a bad indication. Right, right, so right. So I choose not to even say anything. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool though. You no, like acting? Not. I love acting. That's cool. I just, I just, I'm tired of like these roles that they kind of prepare for me. It's you think they're trying to put you in a box? I mean, I'm already, you know, without trying to marginalize me, I'm already a rapper. So that comes right, with right, preconceived right, right. notions with, yeah. within itself, right? That's a fact. But nah, like, you know, I don't want to play no gangsters and yeah. rappers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. That shit is just. For sure, for sure. That's kind it's of like a part of us. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. Made me play something I know nothing about. That's know? a fact. I'm going to challenge myself. Everybody could see me as a lover boy. Everybody could see me as a pretty boy. I could see me as a gangster, Damn. corner boy. Like, right. But can you see me as a water boy? Ooh. Can you see me as a poster boy? Damn, bro. Can you see me as the paper boy? Ring, ring, ring. Post, man. Who this? <laughs> Yo, we so corny. <laughs> <laughs> one last thing, bro. Um, can you just like say one good thing about Mac DeMarco? Mac DeMarco stinky. Damn. All right, I'll say this about Mac DeMarco. His name has Mac in it. Damn, bro. That's that should make him. That's that should make him happy when that's he sees That's some fly it. shit, right? That's some fly shit. That's better than what Tyler said. Yeah. <laughs> that's better than what Tyler said. Thanks for being on my show, Rocky. Man, oh, I love so this guy. I love He's him. choking me. I'm about to fucking sleep. I got him. Lil' Sue, I got to go kill him. I'm about to sue him. He tried to choke me on camera. No, no, no. Lil' Sue, 22. Blocko, I need the whole bag. Curran, we heard about you. You rich now, nigga. Listen, I'm suing this motherfucker. No, 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 no. Hey, did y'all catch that, bro? He choked me. Me on nah, 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 stop. Yo, call, call out the lawyers, please. Nah, I'm not fucking around. He choked me, bro. Nah, 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 bro. I'm calling the lawyers. Nah, it was, for the, it was for the video. Bro, and he bruised my neck. Bro. Not, bro. It was it's for the video, bro. It, it was, was for the video. It was for the video. I couldn't breathe, man. It was for the. It was for the video. A millisecond. I passed out. Yo, my fault. It was for the video. <laughs>